Hey, what's going on? This is Coach Charlie at Attack Basketball. This is the third series out of a four-part mini-series on how to teach you how to leverage the power of your footwork into driving and scoring options in basketball. We love to teach this mentality at Attack Basketball. If you want to compete, you must find your feet. And we've gotten so many requests from people just like yourself asking us, hey, can you drop more footwork videos on how we can maximize on our moves? And also from the guidance of that, we've not only decided to put together this four-part miniseries for you, we also are dropping an unstoppable footwork program that's coming out very soon. Shoot us an email if you want to be the first to know when it drops. Now today we're going to learn the power of leveraging lateral steps in basketball on offense. Let's go. Now, what is a lateral step in basketball? A lateral step in basketball is nothing more than a side step. How I get to the sides, whether it's right or left, is I leverage my inside foot. My inside foot will always take me outside. My inside foot will always take me outside. Now inside in this case also is according to the basketball because I'm facing you as if you are the basket. This is my outside portion of my body. Here's my inside. And I wanna take a lateral step. I want a lateral step away from my opponent. Keeping it simple. Outside foot, my right side because of the ball and the basket. Inside foot is my left side. When I'm leveraging the power of lateral step, they give it like me making the letter L. If I'm going at my opponent, and then I have to lateral step to the right, I just made a letter L. And what I'm after creating is space. And at Attack Basketball Academy, we define space as separation and distance. I just not only want to create space, because this is space. There's two things I can do on this. I need to create separation and distance. So when I come off this move, I need to get away from them. Now, that's what I was talking about. Now they have to chase me. They can't chase me laterally because if they don't chase you're already in position to shoot it and the purpose of doing the lateral step is i want them to chase me if they don't chase me i can rise right into a shot if they chase me and get in front of me i can change directions if they chase me but stop i can change speeds i just gave you three solutions to why learning how to lateral step is important you not only can lateral step from say the dribble on a float dribble, which is I'm going the same direction as the ball, I can also learn to shift. I can change hands to really throw my defender off and it'd be misleading. So pretend this is my defender. A float dribble is when you go with the ball. Okay, the ball is in my right hand, I'm floating to my right. I'm pushing off my left foot, which is my inside foot. So here's how you can work on them. Off the dribble, you can work on floating and skating. The power two dribbles, one, two, change one two what i'm doing is i'm pushing off my inside foot my inside foot like a defensive push step now i have a dribble with it see i want to create separation and distance i want to have time and flow with it okay now that is the lateral steps that's the the skate float i'm floating with the basketball as i go right the ball goes right I go left, the ball goes left. A shift dribble is like completely opposite. I'll go to my left as I'm gonna throw them off. What I want them to do on a shift move is actually jump right in front of me. So pretend they were here. If I did a shift, I got in front of them, now I can just leverage a change of speed. So let's say if I made that same shift move, but now they're in front of me. Watch what I can do, I can change directions. I shift, I can shift again. Okay, simple, right? Ball in my right hand, I shift it in front of them, boom, I can shift again and change direction. That's the power of understanding what these lateral steps can create for you. So a little elite, so be mindful. It's not for everybody. I go opposite of the ball. See, this is a shift. So now what I want to do is put them into scoring options and driving options to teach you how you can maximize out on them. So the first thing you can do off a lateral step, if they don't chase you, you can lift up and shoot, okay? That's the first thing you can do as far as your solution goes. What I learned how to do right, I gotta learn how to do left. I can skate, float, lift up, shot, right? I went at them, I slid to the side, they didn't chase me, you can lift up and shoot the basketball. Okay. And see what a shift can do for you. Imagine attacking your defender and they're used to you coming down to a float skate move, going the same way. 
Now you can come at them and shift into a shot. You don't have to shoot it left hand like I did. I forgot I'm shooting it right handed for the video's sake. And now I can shift into a shot. Right, that, that's throwing them completely off. I might have thrown you off too. You're like, why would you do that? Here's why. If you got the skill to pay some bills, why not have fun with it? I can come at them, change directions, and go right into a shift move. <laughs> if they want to chase that now, I'll put it over a little bit. I make the same move. They jump my shift move. I can just change speeds and go. That's simple. Last thing I can do if they're really good, let's say they're now waiting on my change of speed. All I'm going to do now is shift into a change of direction and go to the basket. Think about if you had options like that. The more options you have like that, man, you play relaxed with your aggression. Relaxed aggression is what we want to teach you at basketball, at Attack Basketball Academy. Okay? So those are the lateral step moves. Now, I'm going to put them in action for you. Let's go. And hey, we're trying to reach 15,000 subscribers and we really need your help. We roll out high quality videos every week that we become a premium basketball player. So help us reach our goal and click that subscribe button. Let's go. First, we're gonna go into a quick float move. What I'm gonna do, keeping it simple, one spot. I'm going down on a right hand dribble. I'm gonna chop my steps and just bounce out. Bounce out for separation and distance, pretending that this defender did not follow me. It gave me room to shoot, so I want you doing this 10 times. I'm gonna do it three times. I'm going at him, bounce out, lift up, shot. Now, why am I also close? Because I want to learn how to do the moves. Small victories. Attack him, bounce, lift, shot. All right, close range, small victories. One more, find your feet. Attack him. Quick bounce, lift up shot. What you do going right, learn to do going left. Same concept. You're gonna make 10 going right, now 10 left. Go at them, push off your right foot, shot. I'll make one more. Attack, bounce, shot. All right? Lateral steps right, lateral step left. Very simple. Now, let's say they play as you bounce. You're coming down, you bounce out to float skate, they're in front of you. Mentality, see chest, change directions, no chest go. Start down the middle, put an object to the side of you, same concept, bounce out, change into a scoring option. Whether that's driving to the basket or pull up for a jumper. In this case for me, I wanna show you pull ups, okay? You have 10, I have three. Ball in my right hand, I push off my left foot, I get in front, I change direction to a cross step. If you recall, cross steps were the last video, or cross steps, if you recall, cross steps was the second video I did. Look how it happens naturally. Let's go, attack, float, skate, going to a cross step pull up. One more, one more, go directly as if they're on you. They jump with you, change, pull up. Okay, what you do going right, learn to do going left. Now the ball's in your left hand, you're attacking straight, you leverage, defender stays in front of you, change direction, going to that pull up jumper. This time I'll go to the basket a couple times. You have 10, I have three. At, over, change, attack, lay, right? One more. I go straight. My next move, my best move. Here's my pull up jumper. I go straight, then in front, I change directions until pull up jumper. Okay? Leveraging the power, again, of lateral steps into float skate options. Now, elite move, I must warn you. It's a shift, okay? Now, slide of feet, slide of hand. I'm at them going right, but I don't float skate to the right. I go left. I throw them off. I go into the same shot first. Watch. At them, over, lift, score. You have 10 of those. I have one more. 
I attack them straight. I shift over. I lift and score. Okay? I got one more I'll give you. Right? Again, driving right at them. I shift. I go opposite of the basketball. Now, another way you can look at doing the move. Ball is in my left hand. I pretend to go to my right. I lateral step with the shift to the left on the change of direction. Boom. My bad, I shot it with my left hand, y'all. I should have shot it with my right hand. You have 10, I have two more. Come down, change, right into the shot. This is footwork. I'm also doing a crossover step if you realize it when I go into the shot. See, coming down, boom, cross step, one, two, shot. Simple. Once you find your feet, you can compete. These moves become very simple. They become very simple, okay? Those are the ways you can score off of a lateral step. Now, bonus, lateral steps with counters. Now again, if they play that, as I come in, I can go back. Another lateral step. I shot it again left-handed, my bad. Having some fun now. But now here's a counter. I can go into a shift move, boom! Another change into another side step, lateral step, right? You have 10, I have two. Shift, shift it, lateral. Don't mind me of me changing hands. I got one more. I'll change it up. Shift, shift, lateral, shot. Why not? Let's go. Hey, future game changers. Ever dream of driving to the hoop and scoring with unstoppable precision? Now imagine being the player who finishes strong under any pressure at the rim. We've got the golden key that turns this imagination into a reality. Our high percentage finisher course is your ultimate playbook to mastering the art of finishing. Whether it's a smooth floater, a dynamic health side finish like a Euro or a pro hop, an explosive attack to the rack, we cover it all. This isn't just any course, it's a transformational journey tailored for every skill level with simple, impactful lessons that will elevate your finishing skills from the ground up, ensuring you become the go-to player who always scores with confidence and ease at the rim. Ready to leave those missed opportunities behind and start dominating every game with your finishing? Click the link in the comments below to dive into the course that will change your finishing game forever. Let's unlock your potential and make you the high percentage finisher every team dreams of having on their team. Let's go.